Hi everyone, this is Danielle from Anava Plan. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. It's great to see you guys here. Today is going to be a wax melt haul featuring Wit and Wax and Wolf Wicks. So I have actually had both of these orders for a hot minute. They've been sitting and I've been waiting to haul them. I just haven't found the time. So a couple of these are Halloween scents that honestly I might still use. But if not, then I will just wait and do them later. But honestly, they can probably be used at any time. So I am going to go ahead and start with, let's start with Wit and Wax. All right, so this was my first order from this shop. The people that own the shop are Erica and Cody. And if you are in the planner community, they own a planner shop called Cricut Paper Co. They used to have a wax shop, they closed it down, then they did stickers, and now they are doing both. So they have a planner sticker shop and they have a wax shop. They are on Etsy. And so this is my first order. Um, their releases go fairly quickly. So the first time I actually didn't get anything because I wasn't on right at the release time. So this was a restock of um, some of these products. So this was the sample that came in mind. It is Cozy Cabin, Warm Sugar Cookies, Fresh Pine, Candy Cane, and it's a pretty decent sized freebie. I'd say this is probably a 0.8 ounce freebie. It is like this kind of mm, muted green color, and then it's got some gold and green glitter on top. Ooh, and it smells really pretty. So I definitely get the pine and the candy cane in this one. But it is gorgeous, and this is definitely a good freebie sample that I will use for Christmas. So then, I also wanted to tell you guys that this is their normal size cup right here. And this is $3.75, and this is between 1.4 and 1.5 ounces, so a pretty good size. Um, I probably will probably cut this in half and use this on two different melts. But if you want, you can just do it at one time. So this one is called... Poison apple, juicy apple, maple, soft caramel, spices, buttery sprinkles. Also, it has the ounce on here, which is awesome. So this is like a lime green, and it's got this like hollow purple blue foil in it, like foil sprinkles. Ooh, that smells so good. That is um, that is definitely very apple-y. I get more apple. It's like um, I wouldn't say the bakery scent definitely more like of an apple scent so this is really fun for maybe spring honestly you can do it whenever but that's probably when I will this one is toasty mallow this is one of the ones I was super excited about I love the smell of marshmallows and like kind of like campfire ish this is spice velvet woods warm amber musk and vanilla bean and so it's white and then it has little black Mickey heads on it and then it's got this like deep orange foil confetti on it Ooh, okay so definitely doesn't smell like marshmallows like um toasted marshmallows or anything to me i definitely get a lot of like the velvet and the musk and the vanilla bean but it smells really good it's more kind of a neutral scent to me i wouldn't say it's not a bakery scent and it's not super fruity it's just kind of um almost like a masculine scent and then the last cup I got was banana nut. I've been looking for a good banana flavor because I love the smell of it. So this one is banana, walnut, nutmeg, vanilla, and lemon peel. And it is like a light yellow color with almost like rose gold confetti in it. Ooh. Ooh. That is, oh, that is so good. That is so good. That is like super banana-y. And it's not like the artificial banana, it's like real banana. And you kind of get a hint of the nut in there too. This is definitely going to be a favorite. Okay, so then they also have bars. They don't offer these every time, but sometimes. So their bars are $4.99 and they are, no, these are $4.75. And they're between 1.8 and 1.9 ounces. So I will probably divide these into maybe two or three melts. What do I start with? These are the three that I was most excited about. All right, let's start here. So this one is pineapple whip, fresh cut pineapple, citrus, vanilla, ice cream, and sugar. I was hoping that this smelled like a Dole Whip from Disney. So I think it does. 
At least that's what people have been saying. So this is what it looks like. It's like um a lighter mustard yellow kind of, and it's got iridescent Mickey heads on it. Ooh, that smells like pineapple. I love the smell of pineapple. So this is definitely awesome, but I would say it's pretty close to a dual whip. So that is gonna be a favorite. I'm gonna put them back in the packaging so the smell stays. Oh, which one do I do next? So this one is my most favorite, so I'll do this one next. And I love a good coffee scent. So this one is Caffeine Queen Fresh Coffee Dark Roast Espresso Bean. Anybody else really like coffee scents? Because, man, coffee is just awesome. And this one I, I dropped, so it's kind of broken right there a little bit. But um, this is like a, a warm chocolate color, and it's got like almost like a rose gold fleck in it. And that is straight coffee bean, which is awesome. If you like a really strong coffee scent, you would definitely like this one. Yeah, definitely very strong, but I like it. And then last, but certainly not least, is my favorite. So this one is Serial Killer. So I missed out on this on the first re like the first release, and I had to get it on the restock, and everybody was raving about it, and I just had to get it. So it's lemon, grapefruit, lime, sugar, sweet cream. So everybody was saying that this smells like fruity pebbles. I love fruity pebbles, and I thought that would be such a fun scent. Also, I dropped this one as well, and it did break, which is fine because they're snap bars and they're supposed to break, but. It is a white color with this like almost like fruity pebble dust on it. It's got purple and pink and blue on it. And it smells like straight fruity pebbles. Like think of a fruity pebble scent and that is exactly what this smells like. It is so spectacular. Next time she restocks this scent, hopefully she does, I am going to be grabbing maybe two or three more. My kids smelled it and were so excited they wanted to eat it. I was like, no, that's not food. <laughs> So that is my small little baby order from Wit and Wax. I actually have another order on the way with her Christmas scents. I'm so excited about. These are kind of more of her base scents. I think that she will probably stock fairly regularly. They're not like holiday scent based, which is awesome. Maybe the Poison Apple is maybe a Halloween one, but all the rest are kind of like normal scents that you would have all the time. So Wit and Wax, she is on Etsy. And yeah, definitely, I will, I'm raving about this shop. Their quality in their planner stickers is great, and their wax is phenomenal, so definitely go check them out. So the second order is from also another shop that I've never purchased from before. This is called Wolf Wicks Wax, which is kind of a tongue twister, but Wolf Wicks, because they are, they're based are kind of around their mascot, their dog. So this shop, I ended up finding and found a really good deal on these. So these, not all of them, but one of their listings is a two pack. So you get two of these cups and it is for this two pack, $3.20. These are 1.8 ounces total. So each cup would be 0.9 ounces. So because they had these two packs, my eight year old wants some wax. So I figured I would get these for her. So that's my main thinking while getting these because they're in two packs and they were pretty cheap that most of these are gonna go to her. I might steal a couple if I really like them, but the clamshells are gonna be mine. So because they come in two packs, I only need to kind of describe and smell one of them. So I'm gonna pull off the doubles. Okay, so I kind of got a mixture of everything. I have some Christmas ones, I have some Halloween ones. There's just some like, everyday ones so kind of a mixture of everything so this one was the freebie that came in my order which is awesome it's like a 0.9 ounce freebie which I thought was pretty good and it is cake pops the scent notes is frosted funfetti cake it is this light blue color and they don't put any decorations on top which is fine I'm not really all about that anyways and it definitely smells like a fun Fetty cake mix, which is pretty fun. My seven-year-old, eight-year-old, almost eight, will love this one. So this is definitely going to go to her. I'm going to have to block this video from her because I'm probably going to give this stuff to her from Christmas. For Christmas, not from Christmas.
So that was the freebie that came in my order. So then all of these cups came in the two packs and the clamshells are just the clamshells. So let's start with, let's start with this Halloween one first. So this one is Halloween Town. And this one, the scent notes, it says Halloween Town is Cider Lane and Butterscotch, Marshmallow, and Pie Crust. So it is just a straight orange color. Hmm. Um... I don't know, I kind of get the butterscotch in here. But I will say that these scents are not as in your face as what I'm used to. Um, Wit and Wax before this was very like you open the packaging and bam, there's your scent. This is more subtle, so it's kind of hard to tell. I would say that I get kind of like a bakery scent from this one and a little bit of the butterscotch and maybe a little bit of cider in it. Next up, let's do fall walkies so this one is crunchy maple leaves and campfire marshmallows so it has a fall scent to it it's so hard to tell because i don't know it's almost like a like a burnt fall smell I, nothing really stands out in me to in this to me and then We'll do the grind, which I'm sure is something that I'm probably going to take. So this one is coffee, leaves, and cider, cinnamon spice, grapes, and flannel sheets. So I do think that on their website that they kind of have like scent notes and then you have to like go in and describe them. I don't want to go into the website, so I'm just going to kind of tell you what I smell. So this is like a burnt yellow color almost. Hmm... So I get a little bit of cinnamon. This is kind of more of a masculine, but definitely more of like a holiday flavor. Again, it's kind of hard to smell it. Um, it's not super strong, which is not exactly what I would like, but I mean, my seven or eight year old, she won't care, but it's not as strong maybe as I would have liked it. Let's do Next one up is the Tropics. This one's tropical fruits, pineapple, and mango. I don't know how to say this word. Acai, acai, A-C-A-I berry, acai berry, acai berry. I don't know how you say that. Acai berry plus yuza or yuzu. So it's like this pink color. Yep, definitely fruity. You can get, I get a lot of the pineapple in it. I don't, mango's hard for me because mango doesn't really, like it just smells like mango. Yep, definitely, that's definitely more of like a pineapple-y scent. I like this. This is fruity, and this one, the scent is stronger on this one. So next up, let's do Timberwolf. Timberwolf is smoky vanilla, apple, and pineapple, cedar, and fir. So this one is a, just a plain white. Hmm. Hmm. I get some pine in this one. I don't really get smoky vanilla, not apple. I definitely just get kind of a, a piney, masculine fur smell. Again, it's not super strong, so it's kind of hard to tell. You kind of have to really get in there. Maybe the scent would be stronger at the bottom, but I don't want to take it out. Let's do Christmas wine. This is like kind of a lime green color. This one is mold wine and cranberries. Cherries, eucalyptus, and clove. Okay, so this one I get, I definitely get kind of like a cranberry wine scent. Hmm, maybe a little bit of the eucalyptus, but again, this one, just, this one is, they're just also, I almost get pine out of this one. Weird. It's just hard because I really have to like sniff them. I'm so used to just them being in your face. If you want something that's more subtle, definitely come check these out. If you like something that's stronger, I would maybe try one or two of the smaller ones and see what you think before you do a big order. This one is Elf Snacks. I didn't show you the Elf Snacks. It is more of a like yellowy green. Here are the two greens next to each other. This one is Gingerbread, Cinnamon, and Clove, Mocha, and Vanilla Cream. Okay, so... This one doesn't smell like a whole lot to me. Yeah, this is supposed to be gingerbread and cinnamon clove. 
I get a little bit of the gingerbread, but I definitely don't get cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of vanilla in it. Again, maybe it's stronger at the bottom. Just right off the bat, I don't really, it's just not super strong where I can tell you, oh yeah, this smells like this. No, not really. All right, I'm gonna save these two for the end. So let's do baby cakes. This is what baby cakes looks like. It is, oh, this one even has the scent on it. Blackberry pie, mango sorbet, and lemon cookies. Okay, so this one smells like blackberry right off the bat. This is like a pretty purple color. And that's all I get. All I get is, is blackberry in this, which is fine. And it's definitely stronger than the other ones. This is a, like a fruity scent. This is my, this one is probably my favorite so far. And then last but not least, when it comes to the cups, is Mary Cherry. Cherry cookies, glazed cinnamon buns, and fudgy pies. Fudgy pies. So it's this really pretty red, kind of Christmassy color. Oh, see, I don't get a whole lot from this, like at all. Like I, I get a little bit of a bakery scent, but yep, I'm sorry. Yep, the, I was just having a really hard time smelling these. And it, I don't know. Since I'm buying for my seven or eight year old, it's not that big a deal, but I won't probably purchase them for myself because I like stronger scents that kind of you can have throughout your whole entire house. So then the clamshell I got was the Kraft scent notes of snickerdoodle, pumpkin, and then honey roasted almonds, I think. I like the idea of a clamshell because you can, like if you see on the back, you can get a bunch of different like melts out of it. I'd probably do two of the squares together so I get three melts out of this. It's pink with kind of some darker pink iridescent sparkles in there. Ooh, so this one smells like pumpkin to me, which is kind of, the snickerdoodle and the pumpkin together, I get like pumpkin almond, not a whole lot of snickerdoodle. But this is actually fairly strong, I like this one. And then trick or treat, which is campfire, powdered sugar, marshmallow, cinnamon, sugar donuts. And on these, these, Clamshells are $4.99 and they are three ounces. So that's, and their prices are great. Like probably some of the best that I've seen, but it has this really pretty purple color. It's fairly similar to this purple, but this is kind of more blue. So let's see what this one smells like. Okay, so this says that it's supposed to be powdered sugar, marshmallow, cinnamon, sugar, donuts, campfire. I maybe get some campfire from it, but I don't get anything sweet out of that. So this is definitely not sweet. Okay, so this is my order from Woof Wix. And I would say my favorite, I actually really like the cake pop. It smells like straight funfetti cake. That's a really sweet, fun one. And the Tropics. This is a very pineapple scent. I really like this one. I'll probably keep this one for myself. And there was one other one I liked. Was it the coffee? No, See, that coffee isn't even super strong to me. Is it Timberwolf? I don't know, there's one other one I really liked, but I don't wanna go back through them. So these two are definitely my top ones right here. Oh, it was the one that was Blackberry. Was this it? This one, this one right here is like this blackberry scent. So these three right here, the baby cakes, which is like a blackberry, this one is like a pineapple scent, and this one is the funfetti cake. Those are my three favorites. The rest, I could take or leave, um, but they're going to my seven-year-old, so it's not a big deal. Would I order from them again? Yes. Um, their prices are great. Like my entire order, they have free shipping at a certain dollar amount. My entire order was $33. And remember, you get doubles of these cups. So I have duplicates of the cups. So price-wise, they are great. If you're looking for some cheap wax, definitely go check them out. Um, I it would, I guess I would say, make a small order first to see what you think about the, the scent throw and stuff. Um, but I mean, it's it's good quality. The, the packaging was great, and it was super quick. So 
Um, some of them are stronger than others. Like these three, I can definitely smell what they smell like. The other ones are just kind of meh. So, um, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Try them out yourself if you're not really quite sure. Um, again, the pricing's great, so there is that. So that is my order from Wolf Wicks, and that's the end of the haul. So, super quick one today. I have some more shops that I would like to feature. I am starting to find kind of what I like and what I don't like. Shops that I am definitely going to be buying from again and already have. Shops that I won't buy from again. So, I will pretty soon here, I will do a kind of opinion piece on shops to show you like what I like, what I don't like, and what I like and don't like about certain shops. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. There are so many indie wax shops out there, like small little businesses, that I definitely want to try to give them all a shot. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you would like to see more. I will link in the description the wax warmer that I currently use I got off Amazon, and I will link the shops that I feature today. So I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.